Are you trying to please everyone in your business? Look, I started my business for time and financial freedom, all that to realize at some point that I was trying to please everybody in the detriment of what I actually wanted for myself and my own good. So in this episode number 117, I'm going to share with you the three keys on what to decide to run your business in the best way possible. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from thierryvalexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so that you can attract the best qualified leads into your business for you to be able to move the needle to the goal achievements of yours much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're, new, if you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new video training and also you get access to a download of some sort that you can download, a freebie, a, a cheat sheet, a guide, a further training to empower you within your business. This week in this episode number 117, I wanna share with you three key decisions that you need to make in your business so you don't try to please everybody to the detrimental of your own goals. As business entrepreneurs, we have so many hats we've got to wear, right? Yet, it is really important to learn how to juggle between all those various responsibilities. Now, let's take a look at some of those responsibilities that are very important. My first tip is to own your business. Very often when people get started in the entrepreneurship world without any experience, they tend to let their audience run their business for them. What I mean by this is they get pulled into all the directions for trying to please every single one of their audiences. I did that, didn't get me very far and in fact it didn't really serve anybody in the process so my best recommendation is to know your processes to run with your processes no matter what other people are telling you please yourself first and the those that are aligning with your style with what you are providing to the marketplace will come and align with you one thing I've learned on my journey is that people love to be led by others who know where they're going and what they're doing. And you are that person. My second tip is to decide where you wanna, whether you wanna be online or offline. A great way to own your business and your processes is to know where you are actually performing. It is online, offline, and equally, it doesn't mean that because you are running your business primarily online, for example, that you cannot meet people offline and write, redirect them back into your online world. You can absolutely do this. This is what I precisely do. However, choosing your, your system and where you are going to perform is going to create more clarity for you and you're going to be way more focused on where you can find your next prospects, your next leads, your next potential clients, and you never have to wonder where to find them again. And as you know, each and every single week, I do also equip you with a PDF of some sort that you can download to empower you within your business. This week, because we're talking about processes, owning your business, and the three key decisions to make into your business, I thought bringing a freebie, which is the customer starter guide will really help you to control the processes on when you're, you're from the time your customer is starting throughout the process to get testimonies and also get them to reorder so they get the best experience possible and give you the best feedback you ever wanted so if you get if you want to get access to this freebie this customer guide this customer starter guide just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box if you are on my youtube channel or any other platforms just check the description section around somewhere around this video and you'll see a link that will take you back to my blog once you're there below this video a massive yellow button click that one and you'll receive the customer starter guide into your email box and my last tip is to choose what you want to lead with 
Being clear on where you are performing is great. The next element is to know what is it that you want to lead with, the products or the opportunity side of your business. The reason it is so important is that it will help you to figure out who is it that you're serving to some extent. And also, it will definitely be very helpful in the, in the process of creating your content for your audience. For example, if you are a makeup artist and you are wanting to attract brides to be, your content is going to be way different than if you are a makeup artist building a team of makeup artists. Another example would be if you're a network marketer and that you want to attract clients for your products, that will be different type of content than if you are desiring to build a team of other independent consultants, correct? I will be honest with you saying that it might take a while for you before you put your head around wanting to niche down and serve one specific audience and find the actual audience that fits you go through it believe me it's worth it because when you try to serve everybody you actually end up serving nobody so do yourself a favor and pick an audience go with it for at least 90 days and if you see that it's not the right one it doesn't work for whatever reason you can always switch to another niche another type of audience and do the same until you find the right one for you and your business so in conclusion be in charge of your business choose your audience that is in alignment with your own values and the content you want to put out there this will allow you to have a much better time when you're conversing with your ideal customer avatar who's relating to you and what you're putting on the marketplace. And remember, I've got your back as well with my customer start gu starter guide that you can download from the yellow button below this video, which then will be sent automatically into your email box. That will help you to figure out the journey from the, po from the point they're starting to making them come back and reorder from you again. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you know what to do. You can share it with your fellow network marketers, entrepreneurs, makeup artists, whomever you believe could benefit from those three key decisions in their business so that they can have a better time as well when conversing with their, with their ideal customer avatar. Question of the week. What is the area of your business that you feel the most challenged with? Share with me in the comment section. I'd love to know and to perhaps also help you if that's possible. And make sure that you are moving the needle closer to your goals or achievement. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love connecting with you each and every single week. This video training is a wrap, but I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye-bye.